Hello, beautiful people. It's Mama Goo. So today I'm coming at you with something a little bit different. I want to discuss lipedema. So for those of you who've never clicked on my video before, have no idea who I am. Hi, I call myself Mama Goo and um, I'm an, like an older person, mid 40s, upper 40s, who's had weight loss surgery eight years ago. So I originally wanted to make these videos. Sorry if you hear squeaking in the background, my dog. I originally wanted to make these videos to discuss my journey after having bariatric surgery eight years ago, because although I've pretty much maintained my weight, I did put back about 20 pounds, but that's besides the point. That's not what this video is about. What I really wanted to talk about today is because I'm getting questions on my reaction videos to Amberlynn Reed about what the hell is lipedema and how is it different from lipedema? So I have varicose veins, right? I've always had varicose veins. I've had them stripped twice now and I probably need to go for a third time. Um, basically, it's when your legs, like in my case, my legs are just gonna always swell, right? I always have to wear compression stockings. That is my lot in life. So, um, after the first time I had my vein stripped, a couple years later, I made the decision to have weight loss surgery. So I was 318 pounds and I got weight loss surgery September 16th, 2015. It took me about a year and a half to get down to about 150 pounds. Now I hit 150. So, um, but since then I've kind of put a little bit back on about 20 pounds. I mean, it's at the end of the world, but I'd really like to get down to the 150 again. But um, my biggest problem, and, and this is where the discussion on Amberlynn Reed comes in, there's really nothing I can do about my legs, right? So if you look at me now, I am, you know, I've got excess skin. That's true. But I mean, you know, my upper half looks full weight, right? Looks pretty skinny. You know, that's what I think anyways. Maybe you disagree, but, um, you know, besides the skin on my arms, I'm fine, my upper body. So I'm also going to show you, though, what my lower body looks like in a second. But before I get to that, let's take a peek at some of the, doc some of the guidance about lipedema. So what I'm going to show you is the website from the Cleveland Clinic that discusses lipedema. Just as an aside, um, when I was getting weight loss surgery, there was no discussion about lipedema. It has now come into more mainstream people discussing it. I even asked my doctor a few years ago, my general practitioner, that I told him I thought I had lipedema and he didn't know what that was. So luckily it's, it's come around. Um, people are understanding more and more, but I still understand why there's confusion because why would you know these things unless they directly affected you? Am I right? But anyways, for anybody who's curious, the Cleveland Clinic gets a really good um, overview of lipedema. So it is basically excess fat, mostly on the lower part of your body. So your butt, your thighs, your calves, not necessarily your feet though. It can also, you know, attack the upper arms, but I don't have that. So, and then the hands are generally not affected. I think Amberlynn might have it in her arms and in her legs. So, um, it also talks about lipedema is sometimes confused with lipedema, but these are different condition, conditions. However, lipedema can lead to lipedema, which in my case, I think my lipedema came, well, no. I'm sure I've always had lipedema, but I didn't know what it was until I lost the weight. But I definitely have now lipedema, but I blame my varicose veins. So um, then they go on to talk about what causes it. It could be inherited. Um, you know, it's generally for females, but it could be for males. And this was definitely me. Started to get worse at the time of puberty, right? So um, I was, you know, had regular legs when I was young. And then once I hit puberty, I had, you know, thunder thighs. So um, 
here's something else interesting. Lipedema is not caused by obesity, but more than half of these patients have overweight obesity or are overweight and are obese. Dieting can cause you to lose weight in your upper body without changing the areas affected by lipedema. And then signs of symptoms of lipedema include yada, yada, yada. They say diuretics, elevating your legs, support stockings do not help the affected area. So for me, it's because I have varicose veins. Pain, absolutely. Um, so here's where I'm afraid Amber Lynn Reed is falling. As it gets worse, it can affect her um, or any person's ability to walk. And then I definitely have the emotional symptoms too, um, embarrassed, anxious, depressed, as the lower part of their body grows larger. So I had mentioned a while back that I enjoyed watching plus size try on hauls, even though I'm not plus sized anymore. So um, I think the main reason why I like that is because I could see that these people who have very large bodies can put themselves out there. I live in South Florida, it is hot. Most of my entire life, I've always worn pants, all right? I'm, I'm tired of it. It's hot here. I want to wear shorts. So watching those people like Anna O'Brien, Glitter and Lasers, um, Sierra Schultze, um, and there are others, but it really gave me the confidence that I needed to say, I don't care what my thighs look like. I'm hot. I'm going to wear cute shorts, and that's that. So Amberlynn Reed has to get to this point, too. So um, it talks about as more fat accumulates, it can block the lymphatic fat pathway um, and can cause a buildup of, of fluid. So this is the um, secondary condition known as lipedema or lipolipedema, okay? And that's what I think in my non-doctor opinion, just as a person who's living this right now, Amberlynn, you're not a special, you know, you're not a special snowflake, sorry. So here's what I really wanted to talk about, which are the, um, the treatments. So basically, obviously, diet, exercise, swimming, biking, and walking, yes. Um, decongestive therapy and compression therapy. I've also gone through this. So what happened is the last time I got my vein stripped, maybe about five years ago, I was still all swollen. This was also before I knew about lipedema. So they sent me for um, manual lymphatic drainage and then the wrapping technique, technique called complex decongestive therapy. I, I went through it. It is not fun. And also I had to do it during the summer because my legs were just so bad I couldn't take it anymore. So with this um, Decongestive therapy, um, what they do is they first wrap your legs in like cotton, like gauze, right? So they wrap your legs in gauze. And by the way, you could be 500 pounds and do this because they just use more rolls of whatever the material is. So they used the um, cotton and then they wrapped my legs in a series of like ACE bandages. So it was like, um, and they did it all the way down to my feet just for, you know, purposes. So it was like I had two casts on my legs, right? It was very uncomfortable, very hot. You couldn't get them wet. And I had to do this for 10 days. All right. It sucked. But when the stockings came off, my legs were like skinny, right? For a short time, but that goes away. And they also did the lymphatic um, manual lymphatic drainage, which if you remember our Goral, she said it was painful. It's not supposed to be painful, right? It, it wasn't painful. It's actually a relaxing massage. You could do it on yourself. Um, I've kind of fallen away from it, but I bet you Amber Lynn Reed doesn't do it anymore either. Um, all right. So this is how you get rid of it. And I personally am not willing to do this myself, right? So, um, the only way to get rid of it, because so your body has regular fat and lipedema fat, right? Lipedema fat is like, it's like um, almost like beady fat. It's hard to explain. 
Um, it definitely doesn't feel like regular fat. It kind of feels a little bit hard. Um, but the thing is, you still have a ton of regular fat. And you really can't address the lipedema fat until you get the regular fat under control. So um, what they can do is water jet assisted liposuction. Okay. So that's a special type of liposuction. They do it here in my area, but I'm not willing to do that yet. Um, Cause it's completely on my dime, even though it's a medical condition, it's still considered cosmetic at this point. Um, and I'm just not willing to spend the money at this juncture of my life. I have two kids in college. I, I can wait. I'm fine. I can walk. Um, but anyways, here's the money shot right here. All right. Here's what should be the first sentence in this, but it's, it's the Cleveland Clinic. They have to be very politically correct. If you have lipedema and obesity, your doctor may recommend bariatric surgery because I'm telling you, you have to get the regular fat down enough, then the lipedema fat is just easier to see, okay? So like this, the moment Amberlynn Reed starts to look like me, meaning a very small upper body and a humongous lower body, I will buy her excuse. All right, guys, so now that we've looked at the Cleveland Clinic and determined the best way to at least start the treatment of um, lipedema is weight loss, and weight loss surgery to help you get it all quicker. It's not an excuse to stay fat. Sorry, but this is not lipedema fat. It's it's just not. So um, I want to show you two other videos that I will cut to in a second. The first is a video that um, my son shot of me at um, about two weeks ago when we were in Central Park. So I'm walking to the Bethesda Fountain. I have jeans on because it's crazy cold, but you could still see how bad my legs are. You know, and I just didn't care, but that didn't make the video. By the way, if you're interested in this, I do travel story time on my other video, on my other channel, Mama Goob in the Wild. Uh, it's definitely a different genre, so I understand if you're not interested, but if you're curious, check it out. I'm pretty proud of it. Um, also, I'm going to show you what I look like this morning, okay? So um, I'm in typically what I would wear to work, you know, nice shirt. But I either wear shorts or um, leggings, depending on how hot the weather is. So it's hot here today. So I'm wearing shorts. So um, I wanted to show you what my legs look like this morning. It Actually, I've never quite done this before on video. So I'm being brave here. I'm being a brave little toaster. So I hope you guys um, learn something, get something out of it. I don't care. Mock me. Fine. Just let me know in the comments how much you hate it. Anyways, um, otherwise, that's really all I had. Um, I may do some voiceovers in my videos to discuss my legs. But other than that, hopefully Amber Lynn will post and you guys will get a double feature today. So here I am in Central Park. Um, I asked my son to film me walking to the Bethesda Fountain, which is really beautiful. I left some of the shots in at Bethesda Fountain because it's just so beautiful. Now, as an aside, I have multiple sclerosis and while I'm very active, I'm able to walk, um, but I have balance issues. And this made my son pretty nervous, as you can see. Um, but I still wanted to try to walk down the stairs. That's why this didn't make the actual um, Central Park video, which I will um, post above if you care to see it. But I did want to leave this part in because I thought it was funny. And just to let you know, you know, see the beauty of the fountain, how beautiful of a day it was. I mean, unreal. But um, just to see how I walk, because I really do think the between the MS and the lipedema, I walk funny. All right, guys, it just is what it is. Um, all right, so cutting here, you know, you could kind of see the fat legs through the jeans. I'm also wearing compression stockings too. And um, yes, the, my bright ass handbag because it holds everything perfectly. And yeah, didn't care what I look like. Uh, Let's see what else is here. So, yeah, I didn't want to bother those people taking selfies. 
So uh, look at all these active people doing all kinds of stuff on this beautiful day in Central Park. I mean, it was really, really just gorgeous. But uh, yes, I know that's not the purpose of this video. Uh, but I wanted to be real with you guys. I wanted to show um, Mama Goob in the wild for all intents and purposes. You know, I'm not perfect. I have issues. I struggle. But this is what I am, and I'm not going to let it stop me do the things I want to do. So this is also me trying to convince my son to be in a selfie with me. He's a little grumpy, as you can probably tell. Um, but I'm goofy. Just wanted to show you. So here I am this morning. I decided to leave the boob shot in because I wanted to also show you the skin of my arms and what the back of my legs look like. Um, as you can see, my right leg is actually bigger than my left leg because um, I think I have varicose veins worse in my right leg. But um, anyways, this is what my thighs look like. I literally don't care. I'm wearing shorts kind of upsets my kids, but tough. It's Florida. It's hot. Well, that's all I had for you today. Um, hopefully I'll see you again with an Amberlynn Reed update. So also, if you care, I'm leaving an outtake video in because I thought it was pretty funny. Enjoy your day. So um, I was 318 pounds and I got... Belly. Belly. Bell, bell. Okay.